Hello friends and welcome to a new happy learning video. Today, we're going to learn about one of the most friendly and fun mammals. Presenting the dolphin. Dolphins are aquatic mammals, which live in most seas around the world. Dolphins have dorsal fins on the top part of their body, and two lateral fins as well as a tail flap called a fluke, which they use to beat the water in an up and down motion, allowing them to swim at great speeds, as well as completing agile jumps out of the water. Did you know that dolphins don't have a nose? They have a beak, and they breathe through a hole above their head. Can you see it? Well, this hole is called the blowhole, and they close it every time they go underwater, so as not to let water come into their lungs. Dolphins can submerge themselves up to 300 meters deep and can hold their breath for almost 25 minutes. Do you know how dolphins sleep? It is really curious, because they sleep in sections. First, half of their brain and half of their body goes to sleep. And when that part wakes up, the other half goes to sleep. It is for this reason that they sleep with one eye open, always aware of what is going on around them. Like this, they are always alert. Dolphins belong to the cetaceous family, like whales. The average length of a dolphin is around four and a half meters, which is the length of a normal car and they weigh about 300 kilos. For orientation, dolphins use a system called echolocation. The sounds the dolphin emits travels through the water until it rebounds off an object found in its path and sends it back to the dolphin. Now the dolphin can calculate how far away the object is, its size and its shape. Dolphins are carnivorous. Their main source of food is based on crustaceans, fish, squid and octopus. Dolphins, like all other animals, are viviparous and the gestation period of a dolphin is 12 months. During the first month of a baby's life, it feeds on the mother's milk and then the baby is taught how to hunt by other members of its family. Dolphins are not scared of humans and when they encounter them, they are very friendly. They are really playful and curious animals. Dolphins tend to live in a group and are extremely intelligent. As they are together in a group, they help each other by defending off sharks and orcas by butting them with their strong beak. But do you know what the dolphin's biggest problem is? The humans. It is because of the humans hunting them and contaminating the waters, which is causing many dolphins to die. Many dolphins have been trapped in fishermen's nets or suffocated with plastic bags and rubbish which has been thrown into the sea. But this is a problem happening not just for the dolphins, but for many other marine species, such as turtles and seals. It is for this reason that it is just so important to look after our seas and oceans and that we should never, ever, ever throw anything into the water. If we maintain nature clean, dolphins as well as all living creatures will be very happy. So goodbye for now and don't forget to subscribe to Happy Learning. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel. Curiosities about dolphins. Did you know that dolphins sleep with one eye open? This is because they sleep with only half of their brain, the other half remains awake to be able to keep on breathing. In a day's journey, dolphins sleep four hours with each part of their body. There are three reasons why this occurs. The first is to stop themselves from drowning. The second is to remain alert for any danger as they sleep. 
The third reason is to allow the muscles to keep moving. Since mammals have warm blood, this enables them to maintain their body temperature. Did you know that dolphins have names for each other, like humans? The truth is that dolphins never stop surprising us. The University of St Andrew in Scotland discovered that dolphins communicate with each other using names. Yes, yes, like me and you. It is the only animal, except humans, that has been known to do this. Each dolphin has a unique name that differentiates it from others. It is believed that when the mothers give birth, they emit a sound. And this sound, from that very moment, becomes the name. Did you know that dolphins can't smell? Even though they have great ears and excellent vision, Dolphins can't smell. To find their prey, they use echolocation. This means that they emit sounds that travel along the water in forms of waves. When these waves arrive at something that is solid, they bounce back and the dolphin is able to detect them. When sounds travelling for long distances, dolphins are able to detect predators or any dangers before seeing them not all of them. The contamination of the seas and oceans is destroying the lives of many dolphins and other animals. You need to look after nature so this doesn't occur. And to enable dolphins, these marvellous sea mammals, to keep on living in seas free and happy. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel. Mammals The diversity of mammals is amazing. They can be as huge as these whales or as tiny as this cute little balancing mouse. They can be noisy like this howler monkey or quiet like this hedgehog with its sharp, pointy spines. Even though they're amazingly diverse, all mammals have a number of common characteristics you should know about, so you can recognize and differentiate them. All mammals are viviparous. They are born from their mother's womb. In their early stages of life, they feed on milk, which they get from their mother's breasts where the mammary glands are, and that's why they're called mammals. And when they're little, they're so cute, aren't they? Mammals reproduce by internal fertilization when a sperm cell and an egg join inside a female. As you can see, they have teeth inside their mouths and lips around them so they can eat and suck milk. Most mammals' bodies are covered with hair and all mammals breathe with their lungs even if they live in the sea. Look at these dolphins coming up to the surface for air. The body temperature of mammals doesn't depend on whether it's cold or hot outside because they can maintain their own internal temperature. Almost all mammals are terrestrial, like camels and jaguars. Some live in the sea and are called marine mammals, like these dolphins and these seals. There's even a flying mammal. Bats are the only mammal that flies. Mammals have four limbs, which vary depending on where they live. 
Land mammals have legs so they can walk and run when they need to and jump and sometimes even climb. Marine mammals have fins so they can swim very fast. And flying mammals have wings so they can fly through the sky. Do you know which is the most wonderful mammal that lives on Earth? Human beings. People are mammals too. How mammals feed. Depending on what they eat, mammals can be classified into different groups. Herbivores only eat plants and their teeth are especially designed for grinding. Horses, sheep and llamas are herbivorous animals. Some very special herbivores are called ruminants. They swallow their food almost without chewing it and some of it is digested normally but some of it is stored in their stomach and when they want to they regurgitate it into their mouth to digest it again. Cows, giraffes and goats are ruminants. Carne means skin or meat in Latin and that's what carnivores eat, the flesh of other animals. Their teeth are large and sharp for hunting and tearing at their food. Carnivores that eat insects and other invertebrates are called insectivores, like these anteaters. Omnivorous mammals feed on both meat and plants. Bears, monkeys and humans are omnivores. We can eat a tasty burger with lettuce and tomato. So, let's remember. Mammals are viviparous and in the early stages of life they feed on milk from their mother's breasts. They have lips and breathe with their lungs. Their body temperature does not depend on the environment they're in and depending on their food sources they may be herbivores, carnivores or omnivores. Easy, right? So, goodbye for now everybody and don't forget to subscribe to Happy Learning. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel. Hello everyone, welcome to Happy Learning. Today we're going to look at vertebrate animals. As you know, we can classify animals in various ways depending on the characteristics we look at. Today, we're going to look at some animals by the internal structure of their bodies. According to this feature, we can classify them into vertebrate animals, which have an internal skeleton, that means bones, and invertebrate animals, like this worm, which has no backbone, in fact, no bones at all. All vertebrate animals have an internal skeleton made up of bones. Bones are very strong and give bodies their shape. They hold it nice and straight. The spine, the backbone, is made up of a series of articulated pieces of bone called the vertebrae, which allow the body to move in a certain way and be flexible. Vertebrate animals' bodies are divided into the head, the torso and the limbs. Yes the head, the body and the arms and legs. Some vertebrates are aquatic like these fish, others are terrestrial like this bear and others fly like this eagle. Vertebrates can move in many different ways walking, jumping, crawling, climbing and when they have to, running. But sometimes it's not enough. There are also many vertebrate animals that move by flying, like birds and bats. For example, these eagles, which, unfortunately for the fox, are much faster than him. Vertebrates are classified into five groups. Fish, reptiles, amphibians, birds, and mammals, like this big howler monkey. 
now, let's remember the most important things we've learned about vertebrate animals. Vertebrate animals can be classified into five groups. Fish, reptiles, amphibians, birds, and mammals. Vertebrates have internal skeletons made of bones. The body of this kind of animal is divided into head, torso, and limbs. They move in many ways. Walking, jumping, crawling, flying, climbing, and when they need to, running. So, see you in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe to Happy Learning. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel. Marine animals. Fish. Fish. <gasps> Crab. Crab. Octopus. Octopus Shark <laughs> Shark Starfish Yay! Starfish Sea snail Sea snail Jellyfish Jellyfish Turtle Turtle Stingray Stingray Seahorse Seahorse Fish Crab Octopus Shark Starfish Sea snail Jellyfish Turtle Stingray Seahorse Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.